in the previous videos we talked about the ashoka rock edicts and about the king ashoka and after the ashoka uh, we talked about shahbaz gadi uh, where king ashoka built uh, monasteries in the memory of uh, viswantara jataka and uh, after ashoka menender is the very important king uh, he he was greek uh, basically and uh, he has played a pivotal role in establishing buddhism in gandhara so today we will talk about uh, the greek king uh, menender after the disintegration of the mauryan empire the bactrian maybe better called gandharan greeks again became the masters of the peshawar valley Menander 155 to 130 BC was the greatest of all the Bactrian Greek kings of Gandhara who conquered more nations than Alexander himself after Ashoka he is the second king who played an important role in the promotion of Buddhism in this region he was famous for justice and loved by his people like the Buddha there was a contest among the different cities for his ashes after his cremation he has found a prominent place in the buddhist traditions as a scholar and patron of buddhism he is mentioned in the melinda panha questions of melinda a famous buddhist text written in the form of a dialogue between menender the gandharan king and nagasena the buddhist monk who finally converted him it is said that he handed over the kingdom to his son retired from the world and became not only a buddhist monk but an arhat the highest kind of saint who is exempt from further rebirth the bajawal relic casket with haroshti inscription from shinkot refers to the reign of menender and mentions that some relics of sakyamuni buddha were said to have been installed in the casket for worship first by a prince named vyakamitra apparently a feudatory of menender and afterwards by a chief named vijamitra there are evidences that other greek rulers also followed his example and extended the same patronage to the buddhist creed professor ak narain writes the greatness and popularity of menender are attested not only by the overwhelming predominance of his coins over those of other indo greek kings but also by the survival of his name in tradition surely he was the greatest of the indo greek kings of india another inscription found at besnagar near bilsa in the madhya pradesh in india records the erection of a garuda pillar by a greek named heliodorus who described himself as a native of texila and as a bag Bhagavata he was deputed as ambassador by the Gandharan Greek king Antialcidas to the Indian king named Bhagabhadra Kasiputra who was prospering in the, his 14 regnal year the translation of the Brahmi inscription on the pillar is given below this Garuda pillar of Vasudeva the god of gods was erected by Heliodorus a Bhagavata the son of Dion and an inhabitant of Taxila who came as Greek ambassador from the great king Antialcidas to king Kosiputra Bhagabhadra the savior then reigning prosperously in the 14th year of his kingship three immortal precepts when practiced lead to heaven self restraint charity consciousness other haroshti inscription discovered in this region reveal the names of kings government officials and noblemen who lived during the reign of the greek shitian parthian and kushana rulers and inscribed buddhist tetite relic vase mention the name of theodorus a great district officer who had enshrined the relic of the buddha in swat valley